did you have a good night? Day two of the solstice, right? It's 12 days long. So what is it that we are conjuring? What is it that we are creating today, right? What is it that you're going to create today? That's the question that you want to ask yourself. It's like, okay, I've got my list of spells. What's going to be the thing that's going to get me into conjure today, right? Well, today's ingredients are going to be cassia chips, rose, and plantain. Why am I going to be using cassia bark? Because it represents a secondary person. It represents an effect that is outside of your time, outside of your space. And it allows you to link their body with yours. Now, the thing about cassia is that you can use it as an intermediary, right? Like straight up. This can be, you can carve a stick, carve their symbol into the stick, or you can do a few other things with it, right? And those few other things are going to be what I discuss today. I use it as a base for conjure. So that's going to be the base for this incense that we're going to make today. And I'm going to say incense, but I want you to mind your allergies because there's stuff about these plants and these ingredients that you don't want to do if you're pregnant or nursing, obviously. You know, the history of magic is about the exploration of what it is you need, why it is you need to do it and the purpose that it serves, right? And so our purposes in developing these classes for you is that you get the opportunity to test your magic, your way. I'm not saying what I'm doing is to be, to be taken as um, canon, right? Like, yes, you can use these methods. Yes, you can use these spells. Yes, I'm using these to build community. Yes, I'm using these to build all sorts of things for people, right? And that is the foundation of the Kessia Bark. That is the foundation. You are building it for something, for someone, for a purpose. This becomes their body. Rose becomes their behavior, becomes their motivations, becomes their focus on that higher goal. And so thus we need to add it second. Like what is the focus of this body that you're creating? What is the focus of that higher perspective? as you move towards their spirit and then we go to the plantain you know i was going to do the master route today um again but i'm just not compelled to use it this week it's just it's too much and so with this blend today stacking it upon the body what the purpose is stacking it up through the higher form and moving it through the spirit that you've got right moving it into these applications gives you a thought process that allows you to take a moment Consider, as you move through your life, as you move through your spellcraft, what you create as a result of your spellcraft is an entire path of practice, right? You can go through the videos yesterday and like, uh, as soon as this video is done, I'm going to go live with Rex and he's going to talk about what he went through yesterday, right? What he went through after he did the, the energetic initiations that I put him through when it comes to crossing the gateways, right? He will be the practicum, the voice of the person that wanted to change, that transform his very essence instead of using the candle flame, instead of using being the wax that becomes burned, he becomes the thing that burns. He becomes the fire, right? but he's also the candle. He is both in one. It is neither one or the other. It is both when you use this magic. And so that's the thing about this stuff is as you grow and as you work with me and as you work with the processes of the people that are around me, like you can work with Mike over there at Sprad Paranormal. You know, I've got some great ideas for him to summon up some spirits. I was having dreams of how to put the cards out, right? You know, it's like going through the list of the ancestors of who's related to you who's genetically got markers linked to you, what were their names? You look them up, you find their history, you figure out what their life was like, and then you summon them into the space. Well, what can you use to summon them? Well, you can use a body of ingredients like this. You can call them forth for a higher purpose. So you put your incense in the middle, you put the kings or the queens or the knaves, or the whatever, to be the guardians of the four quarters, and then you can overlay the aspects of the, the, the individual people that you can name when you throw down the tarot cards. So you summon them up out of the gates. You summon them up out of the iconography. You summon them up out of the images of the history. And so by doing that, it allows you to take out 
the guessing game of what is paranormal magic, right? What is the paranormal aspect of cardomancy, right? Cardomancy in itself can be very, very unstable when you're not dealing with the applications of it directly. Like, what do I mean by dealing with it directly as the applications? I mean, you've got the lessons of what the cards are teaching you. You've got the understanding of what those elements are in your life. And you can do it as a passive receiver or you could do it as an active projector. And that's the thing about why books like the Picatrix are so fundamental in the ancient ways, right? Is because using things like the Picatrix, you've got astrology where you learn astrology and then there's astrology where you make spells underneath those symbols. You pull in those elements underneath the, the virtues of those heavens, underneath the virtues of those planets, underneath those stars. You're conjuring down the very essence of those things. So that way what you are doing serves the, the, the higher purpose of your good, right? It serves the good of what you want. And that's the thing about this blend is that this is to call the spirits. This is specifically designed to call forth those things which will bring to you your highest good, right? Or entrain to you the highest good. And not by some inconsequential spirit, but by elevating your own to make you resonate higher so that those around you resonate higher, so that the spirits that come to you, that work with you, that guide you, resonate higher. And so an elevation blend like this for, provides their body, provides their spirit, and provides a higher purpose, right? And it instills a higher purpose. One of the reasons why I love burning rose incense for all this is because it helps focus on higher purpose. So we get out of the lower magic, the immediate, I want a lover, I want, I want money, I want, you know, those are base needs. But that's not how the world works. Anybody who's doing those base needs over here forgets that there's an entire journey to be had. That there's an entire path of life that can be developed and cultivated and curated as a direct result of what it is they get up to. And so working with amazing people like Mike and Trevor and Rex and Guy and all the amazing folks that I've had the opportunity to have my work touch over the last fucking years, right? Like that's a gift. Like what can I do to give back to them? What can I do to give back to them for serving their community with what I've got to offer them, right? And so that's the thing is like, this project is designed to give as much knowledge and as much resource to those that walk this path. And so using a blend like this, creating a blend like this to give you focus, to give you freedom, to give you the opportunity to pull in those spirits, right? This is a way that you can do that with intangibles. Connecting the cassia bark, connecting the rose bark, connecting the, plant, the, the plantain. Plantain you can also use for dream magic. You can use for crossing the space between what is dreaming worlds and what are waking worlds. So that way what you get into are the higher applications. And so I'm going to stop the video here because this is going to take, take a while to grind down and I'm going to get started with Rex. Um, but I wanted to go live today and talk about the spell of the day. So your spell of the day is to draw forth a higher purpose from your spirit or to draw forth a body of work that is served to a higher purpose from your spirit. And so that's the cassia bark, that's the rose, and that's the plantain. So be safe, my friends, and many blessings and happy the second day of Yule. So thank you for watching, and I appreciate you um, very much. So y'all stay safe, and remember, mind your allergies, and don't be evil. I will see you in a little bit with a really interesting live. All right, my friend. Bye for now.